One thing that we don't talk about enough in the development community is the importance of soft skills. One of the things I've noticed is that one of the big obstacles a lot of competent developers have in terms of getting a job or advancing in their career is that they can't communicate too well. Soft skills are huge. I even put out a whole course called Lizard Wizard to help you with your ability to communicate. It all stems from basic psychology, by the way. Add in a little practice. Anyhow, you can check that out below if you want. Lizard Wizard. That being said, um, soft skills should not be underestimated. Now, I have an article that I just picked up on CNBC, which is a business-oriented website and TV station. So I thought you guys would find this interesting. So it says 93% of employers want to see soft skills on your resume. Here are eight of the most in-demand ones. Now, this applies to all kinds of jobs, not just development. When applying for a job, there are many ways to optimize your resume. You can check the listing to see where the employer's priorities lie in terms of experience and make sure to highlight what's most important to them, something I talk about all the time. If you're applying for a Python job, make sure you put all your Python experience at the top of the stack. Uh, you can include any major achievements like exceeding sales goals, etc. So it goes beyond coding, but you get the idea. Anyway, one group of skills career experts say is crucial to include in your, in your resume, well, to include is soft skills. An overwhelming majority, 93% of employers, and this applies to development as well, by the way, people, say soft skills play a critical role in their decision about whom they want to hire. Uh, so co-founder Ian Siegel, co-founder of ZipRecruiter, said in the company's recent report, Job Market Outlook for Grads, I'll link to this article under this video, soft skills include a wide array of abilities. I would say in general, communication is very high on that list right now considering how people are working in different situations, hybrid situations, etc. ZipRecruiter compiled some of the most in-demand soft skills on its platform. Here are the top skills on that list, including the number of jobs on the site listing the skills requirement. So communication skills, number of jobs, 6.1 million. Related to this, I've cited in other videos where they're asking tech employers, people hiring technology, people, coders, they say the number two skill they're looking for is communication skills. Number one, coding, of course, development skills. Number two is communication. But soft skills goes beyond that. If you look here, you have uh, customer service. Okay, customer service, that doesn't necessarily apply, but scheduling. I'm gonna group scheduling, customer service, and time management in the same broad category. This has to do with you being able to deliver on time, be mindful of other people's time, don't waste it. Uh, so that means being able to manage your time, right? knowing how to organize yourself so you get things done. You know, let's boil it down to one thing. If you say you're gonna deliver by Friday, July 26th, deliver by Friday, July 26th. So make sure you, you follow that rule. People will appreciate you. Uh, analytical thinking, again, this is like par for the course for software development. Basically, when you're software development, you're, analyze, you're analyzing problems and resolving them. Ability to work independently. Yeah, when I talk to people about being a developer, one of the things I look for is somebody who can think on their feet. I don't have to walk them step by step through every single process. You know, you should be able to do things. Now, when you're first starting off, you're going to ask a few questions, but over time, you should be able to be, um, you should be able to work independently. Let's close off. Flexibility. The number of job listings, 1.3 million. When it comes to the importance of communication, in part, as Kelly says, that's a result of the new remote and hybrid work arrangement that rely heavily on tech. How you respond to someone who sent you an email matters, she says in the example. Flexibility means, you know, hey, sometimes, you know, you got to hit major deadlines in development. So, yeah, normally you're going to stop working at a certain time, but, you know, it's, it's okay. Tight deadlines work extra hard, get it done, then there's perks for that afterwards. You know, longer vacation, more flexible hours, et cetera, et cetera. So this is all part of soft skills. Very important. Number one, of course, is communication. And although this article here is very broad, all employers, but I can tell you, I've showed other pieces where 
soft skills is number two, communication skills rather is number two in a software development job. So you can be a decent coder and communicate well, respect other people's time, able to manage your own time, able to solve your own problems. You're going to be gold. Fantastic. If you want to learn more about software development, check out the links below. I have the unclesteph.com mentoring bootcamp. Check it out. If you want to get the full training experience from somebody who's been developing since the early 90s, check it out. I will be happy to help you out. If you have any questions, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.